We have the entrance and the exits of the Aitakala Chill, which this is it. You're in the Aitakala Chill. And it is perhaps so you can get catch a breather of the quantity and the amazing vastity of information I am giving to you. As you stroll along and you have this familiar tune, which already is almost annoying <laughs> to me because <laughs> it's a repetition, you can think about the stuff I just told you. So did you go to Europe and there are all these countries? I told you, 20 maybe. It depends on what you count. I did not include Greece because I never went to Greece. I was a German tourist spot, very famous, so I'm not really interested in that. But Yugoslavia was verpönt. That is German for, oh, that was like considered communist, but Greece wasn't. I'm into cultures and the cultural to me actually extends to the culinary culture, what you eat, because the clothing is not that relevant. No one wears traditional clothing and the other thing is just a, uh, it's a mindset. Before I go into Chivaptichi, uh, <laughs> which is the, <clears throat> okay, the traditional food of Yugoslavia is Chivaptichi and there is a little island called Cyprus or Cipre, do you understand which language? Which lies in front of Lebanon. Lebanon is a different continent. You know Lebanon where the Laban comes from and Lebanese food and the hummus comes from. It comes from Lebanon. Hummus and Gababa Ganusha comes all from Lebanon. Yeah, no matter what you heard, that's where it comes from. So Cipre, the, the capital is Lanka, Larnaca. It's a little bit larger than there is another set of two islands and now in the Mediterranean, South France, which is Corsica. And then down below is Sicilia, Sicilia. Uh, there are smaller and there is a train and it goes all the way to Ajaccio in Corsica. From the north around on the... I have to think about... Because we don't think, we don't speak west and east about where I come from. It's uh, the American thing, so it's east on the east side of the island. Yeah. I saw in a Mexican school book that they considered both islands from one country, probably France, which then I never were, because Sicilia is from, no wait, Sardinia, I'm sorry, I confused the name. Sicilia, you know, everyone knows Sicily, Sicilia, Sardinia is the name of the island, down below, that's Italy, and Corsica is France. So you go to Yugoslavia, and you go to Chipre, that's why I mentioned Chipre, Cyprus, or Cyprus, which of course I did not saw any Cyprus trees. Yeah, look them up. Very famous to Italy. So they have the same uh, the same diet. Chivaptici, uh, little sticks, like shashlik. Okay, like kebab. See, it's all the same. On a stick, meat, but it's um, ground meat. And they're small. And they always serve it with some paprika sauce, which they make. The mashed paprika. And a few others. Uh, the every country of the south has rice in their diet all of them not potatoes like India or Germany or Peru and now I can tell you what the national foods are from each of the countries I just mentioned to you because well in Germany we call them shashlik I think you know them under the name of kebab which are like sticks we could stick stuff on top and then you can go grill it and there's beef on it usually shashlik don't come with ground beef that's only that's special to Yugoslavia in Chipre because Greece has a little bit of a different variety about it they introduce also the yogurt in it which is not in Yugoslavia a thing 
but it is in France and in Denmark, and yes, in Germany too. And I can continue talking to you about it, but uh, my observation had been that, like, before the wall came down, that those despised by the West uh, communist countries were very, very clean. Now, I only traveled to like 17 places there, <laughs> so I know very, only 17 of those which I could look under the loop, all the way from, you know, St. Petersburg down to Rijeka. And what's in between? They're very, very clean. Naturally, because, yeah, not about the discipline, but because they were not such a thing like garbage. Those countries didn't have garbage. Like, when you go to a supermarket, have you ever done that? When you have a house in a supermarket, you go, and if you would like to store your stuff, not in the bags... With a little clippy, no clippy clippy, you need me. <laughs> but in a container, see you know how much garbage you get out of that? Yeah, it takes like a long time to empty, even for a small household. Every single one of the items you buy, you put them in a container and then you throw the whole thing out. And let alone, that's not even with fast food. There is no such thing as fast food in East. So it's not such a thing of garbage. Anyway, they keep everything very clean. Very wide, everything Leningrad, St. Petersburg, Riga, Moscow, Warsaw, Warsaw, which is the capital of Poland, Yugoslavia too. I have been in Sofia and Bucharest. I have been in Prague and East Berlin too. And in little cities, I'm among those and tiny ones. And yeah, I traveled also by car, on by train, and by airplane. Yeah, I know a lot of things. I can continue talking, but what is the point, right? Did anyone claim that I'm not an authority? <laughs> you ask me a question, I respond to you. If I don't, I make research, but there were no such thing as a research back then. Now you look on the internet, does anybody actually look and check? You did not have any place. You had to go to a library and trust that oh, God will provide, because you know how much lies were spread around? I mean, literally, what what in Germany uh, people were told is that there were like babies on the plates of the communists, and they would eat them. I don't know if raw or cooked. I am not joking. And people would actually dig that. It's a traga la pinche historia, pinche silke. Yeah, if they would eat up that story. Sorry, I just need to say things in a, in a different language. I just have to. So basically, what I did with my input is unify two continents for starters, which is America and Europe, as I enhanced Mexico, because Germans don't like Americans, because Americans are too intangible, they're too fluffy for Germans. Germans need something handfast, something straightforward, quality, and America is like the opposite of quality, America is like garbage society, there is a word in German, the name America, garbage society. No, it's called Wegwerfgesellschaft. And it means like you buy stuff and you throw it out, but also the relationships. You buy them and you throw them out. That didn't happen in Germany or in none place of Europe. But in order to create and enhance peace on earth, we had to collind in a certain place. Because it was easy to maintain the idea that there were two superpowers and everyone was scared and thought they had to make a bunker because the nuclear war would break out. And many people grew up for, 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 for a very long time with the fear. So bringing Mexico into the equation opened up a continent for Germany. And of course, if it's for Germany, eventually will also pop up in other countries. Not that they go or don't go, but it's like an option. So that's what's happening. And then, of course, we brought in El NAFTA, which is El Tratado de Libre Comercio in Spanish, TLC, NAFTA in English. Uh, Mexico, Canada, and the United States. And from then on, we went into the peace land. Oh, I just want to get out with you. Oh, I just want to live.